Hi guys, Zach here with another how to moment. Um, I basically want to take my Toshiba Mini Netbook and put my entire DVD collection onto the Toshiba Mini Netbook, which unfortunately doesn't have a DVD drive. Best way to do this, going right into it, you're going to go to Google, you're going to type in Wondershare DVD Ripper, you're going to press return, which I've already done and you're going to go to DVD Ripper dash rip DVD to popular video and so on and so forth 4.5 rating this is the one you want you're going to click on that and you've got DVD Ripper Platinum from Wondershare this converts to any format MP3, MP4, HD movies, anything you want it's freaking awesome so borrow a friend's computer that has a DVD drive or just use your desktop which is what I'm doing right now um, mine happens to be a Mac but you can do this with really any desktop out there because uh, this program is cross-platform and will run on basically you know a PC or a Mac which is awesome um, once you've uh, once you've downloaded this basically just run through the install prompts pretty easy to do the free trial I think lasts for you know more than a couple months so you really get your money's worth um, it's free I mean it's totally free at the beginning but uh, I went ahead and bought it later on when I figured out how awesome it was but you could do your whole collection in less than a month if you just turn this stuff out so um, you go to it you download it uh, come back to my main screen I'm gonna pull up my Wondershare and here's what it looks like or something very similar depending on the version that you have you just eject one of your trays throw your disk in you know DVD that you want to convert I'm gonna go ahead pop that in the machine and uh, I go to load DVD and look for my disk which should be right here under desktop actually there it popped up right there so Blackwater and you just press choose ah sorry guys hold on let me exit out of this quit DVD player of course uh -huh. so on and so forth I've selected the Blackwater DVD right here I go to choose it basically pulls this in analyzes the IFO file which is like um, you know the audio and the video files and what it's gonna do is it's gonna line them all up and uh, all I have to do is you know if I just want the main movie um, I'm gonna check off um, you know all the bonus tracks and all that stuff that I don't want to convert because basically I just want you know the 45 minute video on this uh, wakeboarding DVD that actually I produced edited and filmed myself um, but I'm throwing it up on YouTube for all you YouTube lovers if you guys like wakeboarding videos um, this video is like it's wicked awesome uh, so it's you got a couple things popping up what you're gonna look for is um, you know trim time like duration basically this is one minute five seconds I'm gonna click off of that I'll look at this this is all my chapters from a Blackwater video um, don't need to check all those they're automatically checked if this is checked and I'm just gonna go over here you can leave this as it is um, you know output to user Apple desktop you can browse for wherever you want it to be I like to send my stuff to the desktop so that I know uh, that it's done which is pretty freaking awesome so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna select um, what I want to use this for basically um, I'm gonna do HD um, MPEG 4 move which is it basically converts it to HD video uh, so that I can you know upload it to YouTube or put it on my uh, my Toshiba whatever I want to do with it so that's the one that I like because uh, it tends to render the best results uh, go ahead and I go to start conversion and this pops up show them a little preview so it's already converting which is fantastic I'll select this actually pull it down get it out of the way minimize it put this little guy over in the corner and um, you know that's gonna be converting like uh, usually takes eh, 30 or 40 minutes you know depending but um, once that finishes converting really all I have to do if I wanna take this from my desktop computer and put it onto my Toshiba um, you know my Toshiba mini netbook here that doesn't have a DVD drive um, I'll do one of two things the easiest and quickest and f best way to do it I think is to go ahead and just buy yourself a five dollar four gigabyte um, flash drive and uh, you can basically just plug your flash drive in take the main file dump it onto the flash drive and take it over to your Toshiba plug it in and then just import it um, or uh, you know copy it over whatever you feel like you want to do if you don't feel like buying a flash drive here's a secondary way to do this you're gonna pull up iTunes which most everybody has iTunes or something of the like and I'm gonna go to preferences if it'll let me it's converting that's what the problem is 
it's uh, bogging me down a little bit here. All right, so I go to iTunes, and I'm gonna go to Preferences, and I'm gonna go to Sharing, and I'm gonna click on um, Share My Library on Local Network, and you know, of course, I can do Share Selected Playlist Movies, um, or anything to the like, and basically you can share your whole collection over your wireless network. Now, if you're hardline connected, um, as far as your, your desktop, this probably isn't the best way to go because you're not going to have any way to send it wirelessly over to your Toshiba Mini. So, fortunately, I do have a wireless network in my house. My Toshiba Mini is on it, as well as my, my desktop and my TVs and everything else, uh, which is pretty sweet. So, I click OK, and then, you know, sharing music, personally use only. You can only share it within your own network in your own house, of course, because safety feature, and you just press OK. And um, what I'm going to do now is basically take my movie file, you know, um, and I like to arrange this a different way. So view, I'm going to go to list, so I have room, and uh, all you really have to do is, you know, take your 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 video, your movie, and drag it, you drop it, and it copies over. I've already got this file in there, so you just let it copy over. It doesn't take too long. Um, and then what you do is your Toshiba Mini um, that is also going to have uh, iTunes on it. You basically do the same thing: preference to share, and then there's one there's one little prompt, and uh, you'll be able to at that point um, pull in, you know, all the uh, the videos and the music that you want to over to your Toshiba Mini if you decide um, that you don't want to go with a USB drive. But for five bucks, hassle-free, and it's the easiest thing. And plus, you need a flash drive. I mean, everybody needs one.